understand this has been an ongoing project for a long time now. Can you explain a little bit about how, you know, where the seeds of the idea came from? Right, it happened about three years ago where I did a exhibition called Cardiff Characters with the guy next to me, Mark Healy. And uh, basically that was a pho photographic exhibition of the Young Sun Heroes of Cardiff. And basically it went down really well. It went on for six weeks. Like I said, it was three years back in the same venue, but things were very, very different then. And um, someone came in one day and said that this, this was, it was good that it happened and it's good that you're recognising all these uh, everyday people of the city, but it didn't represent their Cardiff. And then it got me thinking that we should come up with something where we open up the doors to so many people, lots of different mediums, lots of different artworks, but all the shared experience of the same thing, which is Cardiff. So and it's now grown into a big little city, which is um, much bigger than it was before. At the same time, it's different people's perception of the same thing, really. And um, there's stacks of works going, up, going on. It's fully interactive. Um, the solo work's changing every five weeks. We've got a six week, 16 week run. And there's eight, eight or nine interactive projects where basically anyone and everyone can contribute to. So it's an ongoing, organically growing art exhibition. We, we put out a general call just asking for people from Cardiff artists who wanted to put work up to talk about Cardiff and sort of their, their shared experience of the city um, and we were overwhelmed by the amount of really good quality work that we got in so in kind of wading through and trying to find some thread some way of hanging all this completely not random but unrelated work we, we, we were looking for just some token way of kind of holding it together and, and it kind of naturally fell within those categories. That, exactly, it naturally fell in those, those categories and, the, and Mark spotted that and it was, uh, it was quite even as well. So, and on top of that with the submissions there are all, well, 85%, that's just a random number, but a really high number was really good quality. So it's turning people away was the hard thing. In the four, over the four months we're here, we're changing the solo work every five weeks, give or take. So yeah. it's sort of fi at five weeks and ten weeks, all of the solo work that's here now will come down and new work will, go will, will sort of take its place. And on top of that, there's a lot of work which is added on throughout the whole period as well. So there's a real ongoing live feel to the whole exhibition. That's what we're trying to do. And also with the interactive projects, and they're, they're, they're vital to the whole thing working, uh, people can come in and share their, their opinion and their view and it's, it's all sort of, that will grow and grow and grow. It's about time this building was utilised and with the Cardiff story being downstairs um, very much married to what we're doing, if they're celebrating Cardiff's history we're celebrating Cardiff today and I really think that it's been a long time coming. We would say that being here but this actual building is phenomenal and I'm not just saying that because we're here, it really is a stunning building and I don't think it's been properly utilised for a long long time and um, now it is. We can relate to it because we're both Cardiff boys as well, so it is, it's, um, it's, our, it's our city as well, so it's, uh, it's really precious to us, but it would be, I, I think this could be done all over the place. I don't think it's, um, I think Cardiff is a special, special place, of course it is, but we're highly biased we're both from here, but I, I believe that this could be done in any city, whether large or small, and um, it, yeah. I think for us, for, 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 for me certainly, it's exciting to see so many different viewpoints on basically the same subject. To, uh, yesterday while we were setting up, um, a lady from the council was talking to our graffiti artist who, you know, who was setting up near our, our um, Milner. We've got a hat on display. Yeah, yeah. So just kind of people who might not get to chat and sort of get their ideas sort of across to each other. I guess it's got really, yeah, it's a really sub subcultures thing. in one place at one time. That's what happened in Cardiff Characters and we sort of tipped the, I don't know, I don't know, we, 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 yeah, we were touching on something but we didn't quite make it and um, similarly the building wasn't what it is now as well. So I think the mix of those two is a marriage made in heaven really and it, it's really um, about people coming in and contributing and having their say instead of us force-feeding it so and saying this is this is your Cardiff it's like well what is your Cardiff? It really, so, yeah, it really yeah. isn't our exhibition it's our no. it's a platform that we've created mm. for all of these other artists and for people to come in and share their ideas everything from writing postcards talking about their favorite place in the city um, right the way through to animating you know well, send us in animations and hip-hop projects and there's all sorts of things happening so it, it's gonna go on and on and on and also we've got a it's basically a celebration of Cardiff's creativity 
Uh, we've also got a fully licensed music and uh, performance license, which is unheard of as well. And very excitingly, we've got uh, a Spillers music stage on every Saturday at 3 o'clock, by the first Saturday and second Saturday. But basically, we've got 13 bands playing. Starting the 30th yeah. of starting the 30th of, uh, 30th of April, pardon. Uh, at 3 p.m. every Saturday afternoon, there'll be a different act. Uh, starting with the GLC. Yeah. Um, coming in Newport, yeah. but it, it's all right. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll bring you into the yeah, big city. It's nice. <laughs> it's a cultural yeah. exchange. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And they'll be sort of performing a kind of stripped down <laughs> set for the gathered assembly. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it, and that's, that's purely curated by, I was only joking, GLC. <laughs> um, that's purely curated by Ashley Todd as well, the, um, the owner of Spillers now, uh, taking over from Nick. And I mean, that's an institute in itself. Another thing we're doing with Spillers, and it's really taken off, is the Design Your Own Spillers t shirt. Now, if we pan the camera around, I'm sure there's someone in this room wearing it. Lo and behold, there's no one here. Um, but one of the most iconic t-shirts in Cardiff and uh, we're getting people to design their own. And uh, that's really taken off. And uh, it's a real competition and, and the winner will get their t-shirt printed and sold at the shop. So there's lots of interactive projects but there's lots of incentives to get on, on it, get on it as well. So uh, yeah.